Okay, so I want to talk about something that's um, important. Um, one of the most gifted people on the face of this planet are isolated, introverted hermits. Okay, people that are not around people all the time. People who do not have support of other people. People who have no choice um, but to do better and be better because all they have is themselves. Maybe they do have one or two friends that they see here and there. Maybe they have nobody, nothing. But these are the most gifted people in the world because they have only themselves and they work to better themselves. I knew a girl before from Canada. I no longer associate with her or talk to her because of multiple things, but... Yeah, so she grew up in a drugged up family circumstance, so her parents literally had to give her up, okay? So she grew up in an orphanage. So then she was adopted by Irish Canadian parents, okay? Until this day, she's still living with her Irish Canadian parents. In a huge house, does not pay rent, doesn't work, beautiful house, doesn't talk to her own sister, got married to an Irish guy and they're living in her parents' house for free. They always constantly travel with her mother's money to like Arizona and other places in the world um, to each their own. But I'm bringing this up because it's not necessarily that you need to feel my point is it's always all about her in a sense of oh I didn't grow up in a nice environment oh I didn't have this I didn't have that she doesn't talk to her own sibling her own blood sister who is a counselor and therapist for kids um, who has her own trauma you know because she also grew up as an orphan and she doesn't have the love or support or talk you know her of her sister except her her father so it's always an excuse that my sister is spoiled, that she's on drugs, this, this, and this, and my father always takes her out because she's a threat to the public or something. And it's like, I don't know if this is going anywhere in regards to why I'm saying this, like if it's being understood what I'm trying to say. Um doesn't mean people who have gone through things in life appreciate things but my last draw with her where I cut her out of my life and I put that boundary was when she kept talking shit every time I talked to her she talked shit about her sister my sister would call the cops on her she's a threat to the public the girl's a counselor for kids whether she's done something or not like be more empathic to her you know like you are not paying rent you're saying your sister is selfish your sister is this or that but you live for free with your um, adopted parents. You've been taken care of. You're married. You don't do anything yourself. You have a boy that you take care of, but it's not you taking, you don't cook or clean. Your parents do it. <sighs> My point is, I fucking love being alone. And it's, it's beautiful. And whoever has anything to say about me, because I'm sure there's lots of people who love to talk about me, focus on your own lives sometimes you know when there's so much to talk about in life when you're not superficial um yeah so um i remember she's always she was always like oh tell that we have so much in common but we don't because look at my fucked up life <laughs> Like, not even. 